Hello everyone. Today we're looking at writing ionic equations. These equations help us to understand which uh, species or chemical substances actually participate in a reaction and that, help, that improves our understanding of what's going on in the reaction. Ionic equations emit the spectator ions. These are the ions which do not change during the reaction. The first step is to write the full equation, balance it and write the states. If we had some hydrochloric acid and we poured it on zinc metal, there would be a reaction and the uh, product is zinc chloride solution and hydrogen gas. The metal dissolves away. In order to write the ionic equation, we need to separate the ionic substances, the, sorry, the aqueous substance into ions. So uh, if we look at this um, look at this equation here, we've got some aqueous hydrochloric acid, so it must have some aqueous hydrogen ions and aqueous chloride ions. In the product, we can see that there's zinc chloride, so we have to write that out as zinc ions and chloride ions. Once we've done that, we're nearly ready to write the ionic equation. Uh, the third step is to cancel out any species which are unchanged during the reaction. So uh, you can see here that I've crossed out the 2Cl-. The reason is that there's chloride ions here at the start in the reactants, but there's also chloride ions in the products. So the chloride ions haven't done anything. They were in the solution at the beginning, they're in the solution at the end. So they're the ones that get crossed off. Let's just check the other ones. There's um, hydrogen ions here in the reactants, but there's no hydrogen ions in the products. There's hydrogen gas, but that's not the same thing. We've got some zinc metal in the reactants and some zinc ions in the products. But they're not the same either. So both of those stay. We, we have to keep our hydrogen ions, our zinc metal, our zinc ions, and our hydrogen gas. Uh, so this is the full, um, well I say full, it's the ionic equation there at the end, that's the one. That's how you do that. Uh, now let's have a look at some of the um, examples I'd like you to try. I've got eight of them here. Uh, the first ones they're already balanced and uh, you know what the products are. Uh, in number five, we've got the uh, we've got the reactants and the products, but I haven't necessarily balanced it. You might have to do that. Then also, these kinds of equations, um, they're sometimes given to you not as a full equation, so you have to be able to write the full equation. Uh, to do that, you'll need to know your solubility rules and you can look back and find those. Um, the, there has to be something that, um, if everything still remains soluble at the end, then there's been no reaction. So something has to precipitate or in other way, uh, react in some other way. Okay, give it a shot. Um, email me your answers and I'll see how you go. Bye.